fun. Oh, this was a, uh, a sculpture pretending to be a living statue, you know, pretends to be a sculpture. This street is uh, in Barcelona. There's about 20 or 30 of these people uh, down the street. Um, and they were kind of pissed because my sculpture made a lot more money than they were making. <laughs> we made like the 200 euros in, in one day on this one. So, And it should also be inspiring to anybody that wants to do street art that you can actually earn a pretty good living if you do this every day. But again, you know, the cops come out. They actually have a, a when they see something like this, the first thing is they have to touch them and find out, like, are you okay, are you okay? So it's nice to even punk, punk um, the cops on this. Um, this is one I did in Belgrade. You know, again, this one's another one of the uh, light, light, fluffy ones. But um, This one was also with permission, but about five or six people. Now, here's the thing with this sort of stuff. You can get... And I understand this is a little darker, but you can get 500 people to walk by. You might get like, you know, maybe half the people are really surprised and then they start laughing, you know, and, and they walk away. You know, it's sort of like a haunted house effect. You know, you might start off screaming, but you end up laughing. Um, but not that many people actually get mad about it. But the people that do get mad about it, they just like, they like to make a lot of noise and it can kind of like mess it up. It's sort of like, you know, when you're on the bus and the temperature is fine, but one person's like either really hot or really cool. And so they tell the bus driver, you know, to turn it down. And so, so he does. And everybody else on the bus, you know, has, has to pay the price. And so in this case, you know, like I said, probably a thousand people walked by it, but you know, three people were like, you know, not my city. Belgrade doesn't need this sort of thing. We've had too much wars in the past. And so when we had permission, you know, the cops said it was okay. They got like a little protest going and called up their friends and they had about 20 people saying they weren't going to leave until the sculptures leave, has been removed. And I was trying to get out of there, but you know, the organizers were still there and they brought out some reporter and wanted to do some sort of interview, which is something like I never usually do and you know, I'll never do it again because then when all that happened, they're like, well, you have to go up there and deinstall your piece. And I was like, yeah, it's not in my contract. Um, <laughs> And so I was like, you know, I'm done. And so then they ended up deinstalling it, and I don't know where I ended up, but, you know, this is just, like Stephen says, um, you know, they wanted me to give you some antidotes and kind of like the behind the scenes stuff, and so that's kind of what happens. And this is home. Um, we had a series of spots picked out. Um, one of the main reasons for doing this one is because we needed a ladder and, uh, you know, we had a lot of rain, so we had a, a little dry patch, so we figured it would be better to climb ladders when it was uh, dry rather than wet. And, you know, I'm not sure exactly what happened on this one, but I think the piece got removed in a couple of hours. And all the other projects we have planned for the city are kind of on hold right now, and we'll see how it goes. But we have about five or six more projects that we have in the shop that we're going to try to roll out in the next week or two. So um, I guess just keep your eyes open and it should be some more neat neat stuff to see. And that's it. Thank you.